Hey guys and welcome back to Early Bird Farms. Today we're going to be talking about a little DIY stuff you do around the house. Specifically we're going to be talking about drywall also known as sheet rock. So y'all stay tuned. Alright so do you have any kind of dents or dings or busted sheet rock or even holes in your sheet rock in your house? If so they're very easy to fix yourself. I'm not going to go into detail in this video on how to fix sheet rock. I'm more or less going to talk about, about the type of products to use and uh, what I would recommend using versus what I wouldn't recommend using. Now you have what they call spackle and you have joint compound also known as sheetrock mud or just known as mud. Most people when they're doing a repair job, if, if they've never done one before, they more likely would get the spackle just because somebody else probably recommended it to them. Spackle is... Um, it's, it's pretty much made out of sheetrock mud, but it has some hardeners in it. It's not as pliable as long. It, it, typically, you can paint it and you can sand it and paint it in 30 minutes, so it makes a quicker job. Spackle is good for repairing small, little tiny, you know, holes and stuff like that. But if you have like a bigger hole, you're not going to want to use that. It's not as easily spreadable. In case you have any kind of a job, small hole or a big hole, um get yourself a small little bucket of this joint compound you can see this is 3.5 quarts right here versus uh, a quart or a pint of spackle this right here costs eight bucks at the home depot and here you can see on my videos me showing you uh, this is where you would find the set this would be over there where the sheetrock is and the uh, sheetrock tape and sheetrock tools most of the time that's all on the same aisle you can find these little buckets here for seven eight dollars these will last you a long time if you have i don't know a couple holes to fix this this right here would work fine it takes a little longer to um to allow it to dry and then you have to sand it and then maybe put a second coat on it but if you have a bigger hole this is what you're going to need to, to patch it with versus spackle now my dad did sheetrock work most of his life and i know a few tricks on patching holes and maybe one day we'll get into that but I wanted to share with you about this buying the joint compound because it's a bucket this size of spackle is $15 and a bucket for this um, joint compound is $7 this will last you a long time I mean even the even the pint size spackle is like $5 two more dollars and you get three quarts of compound and it'll last you such a long time Let's talk about some of the tools you're going to need. Now, if you're just doing a small hole or something like that, something like this, one of these little plastic ones, will work fine. Um, if you got some bigger, bigger areas, if you're coating, if you're uh, fixing a crack joint in your ceiling or something, go ahead and just buy you a good quality one. This was my dad's. He this, he passed this down to me. This is probably I don't know, 30, 40 years old. It's also nice to have a. A trough to put it in these troughs are nice because you, you fill the mud up in there and then and then it's got this edge that you can wipe your knife off on anyway the point of this video was mainly to show you about the, the difference in the compounds spackle versus joint compounds and I mean it's just cheaper to buy this so why not get it I have a couple little places I got to patch up in my house, you know, kids bump things, and really, I I had to fix a little piece of a corner bead that I knocked off, um, the sheetrock off of the corner bead. So, um, maybe we'll take y'all along with that. Appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it I hope it gave you a little insight. We'll see you next time. Anyway, the point of this video was mainly to show you about the the difference in the compounds spackle versus joint compounds and i mean it's just cheaper to buy this so why not get it i have a couple little places i gotta patch up in my house you know kids bump things and really i i had to fix a little piece of a corner bead that i knocked off um the sheetrock off of the corner bead so um appreciate y'all watching thank y'all for stopping by and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it i hope it gave you a little insight 